With over 500 sessions at Next19, it's understandable that you may have not seen them all. So if you miss Modern Data Warehouse with BigQuery, where the BigQuery lead, Jordan Tigani, shares how we are transforming BigQuery into the data warehouse of the future, don't worry, because this is the Rewind. You might already know that BigQuery is our enterprise data warehouse built for the cloud. It can easily store exabytes of data, as well as run SQL queries over petabytes of it. Everything is encrypted, durable, and highly available. And these are some of the features that make BigQuery really unique. It's fully managed and serverless. It handles streaming data to provide real-time analytics. It has built-in support for machine learning and geoanalysis. And high-speed in-memory BI engine was just added for instant interactive dashboards. And of course, during the talk, we had quotes from industry analysts and customers that can attest to all of this, as well as petabyte scale interactive demos. But let's focus on the main message of this talk. How is Google Cloud putting all of this together to build our vision of what the data warehouse of the future should look like? Let's start with the first two elements. A data warehouse should handle storage and compute. And by that, I mean the ability to collect all the data you need to have together and the ability to analyze it and combine it at any scale. In fact, one of our customers is storing more than 250 petabytes of data in BigQuery, and others have run a single query over more than five petabytes. To pull this off, you really want your data warehouse to be truly serverless. You get to decide on your data and the queries you want to run on it, while we take care of running everything else behind the scenes. And what's the magic behind the scenes? BigQuery's architecture that separates storage from compute and a petabit network connecting both sides. Cool, but that's not enough. A modern data warehouse should be able to work with real-time data. To prove this during the talk, Jordan ran a data flow pipeline generating data out of more than 600 CPUs. As you can see here, these nodes were generating more than two gigabytes of data per second. And he showed how BigQuery was able to instantly run queries and find patterns over this incoming data. What else do you expect from a modern data warehouse? Centralized storage. And this is something new with BigQuery. We already know that BigQuery can store all of your data and analyze it. But what if we want to read it from other systems, BI tools, batch and stream processors, Hadoop, Spark, machine learning platforms? They should all be able to read data stored in BigQuery. And we just announced the BigQuery Storage API to enable fast parallel reads without the need of exporting data first. What else? Security and trust. To make sure we can put BigQuery into the hands of our most sensitive customers, Google has developed features with them like customer managed encryption keys and access transparency. If anyone managing your cloud data warehouse had to look at your data, you should know when and why this happened. And you get that with BigQuery. Next, data sharing. You want to make BigQuery available to anyone that needs to analyze data in your organization. On one hand, we have a strong permission model, but we also want to make the power of data accessible to those who need it. So with BigQuery, you can save and share queries, as well as data sets. And your analysts can create beautiful reports with Data Studio and third-party tools. And to make all of these reports fast and scalable, BI Engine is the new block that acts as a transparent catch in between, an in-memory database that knows when to bring data from the backend where you only need to decide how much memory you want it to have. And we're making BigQuery increasingly accessible, even to users that would rather do everything in a spreadsheet. And the last bit of a modern data warehouse, predictive. With infinite storage, you can know what happened in the past. With real-time streaming data, you can tell what's happening now. And with machine learning capabilities, you can predict what will happen next. Now BigQuery is able to create and run machine learning models natively inside. Yes, you can create a model and then use it to predict within BigQuery and only using a couple SQL commands. To the initial linear and logistic regression models, 
Google has added K-means clustering and matrix factorization, and even the ability to import any TensorFlow model you created outside BigQuery, and even train TensorFlow models without leaving your favorite data warehouse. This is our vision of a modern data warehouse. But it doesn't stop here. Check the full talk to see how one of our customers puts everything together to power the future, driverless cars. That's it for now. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. Now it's your turn to try BigQuery. I'm Felipe Hoffa, and remember to subscribe. <laughs>